Good afternoon and welcome to these Texan Sports Report. I'm your host Tyler McDonough, joined by my good co-host Drew Ivory. Happy holidays guys Happy and um, holidays. Uh, we just want to give a big shout out to our friends over here at KTR for letting us come in and use the studio. A little Christmas tree for you guys so um, happy holidays once again as it's almost that time of year almost. and uh, and uh, finals are just about next week. When finals comes around it means Christmas is almost here. But guys we'll get into a little bit of sports for you guys, not too much for you guys but um, uh, football is still going around. Um, Unfortunately, not for AM Commerce, but there's still a little bit of football action to talk about. Christoph Martinez, Senior Christoph, uh, Senior Automatico, was named first team all AFCA. So Christoph just keeps on racking up those awards, you know, all American, all of that good stuff. Um, so shout out to Christoph. Unfortunately, Christoph is one of those seniors we're going to miss, and yep. he's leaving. But, uh, you know, huge shout out to Christoph and, uh, you know, with the first team all AFCA. NFL bound, Christoph. Christoph, if you're watching, we want to see you at the next level. Dallas Cowboys could use you. Yeah. But um, also this past week, Lion Athletics did unfortunately announce that Colby Carthel has left a and Commerce. This was on Sunday, December 2nd. Um, coach Carthel has taken a job at Stephen F. Austin State. He will become the program's 20th head coach for the Lumberjacks. Uh, he is going to be reuniting with former a and Commerce Athletic Director Ryan Ivey, who did hire Carthel back in 2013 to become the Lions head coach. Carthel is one of the most successful coaches in Anim Commerce history. He, le he leaves Commerce with a 58-18 and 18 record in six seasons. He also has to his resume three conference championships, as that was in 2014, 2015, and 16. And also, we can't leave out his most oh, notable course. accomplishment, of course. last year's 2017 National Championship, as they defeated uh, West Florida 37-27 in Kansas, Kansas City. Um, so... Coach Carthel, we thank you for everything you've done for us. Um, you know, he's going to be taking a few coaches with him. Uh, we're waiting yeah. to hear back on that to uh, confirm which coaches will be leaving with him. But, uh, Coach Carthel, thank you for leaving this university better than you found it. You did a tremendous amount of work for this uh, student athletes here. You impacted a lot of lives outside of just football, you know. Um, all the other student athletes at the university and just normal students at the school looked up to you. So thank you for all the things that you did for us here at AM Commerce. Pleasure covering line football with you. Yes, it was. Church. So what do you got for us over there in basketball? A lot of basketball action has been going on the past couple of weeks. The women won their last game against Texas A&M University Kingsville in dominating fashion, man. They won by 49 points. 49-point victory as they won 87-38, to 38, the biggest victory by far this season. Shania Wright had a game-high 19 points. The Lions are now 4-4 four four on the season, right at 500-1-1 in the Lone Star Conference. Their next game is going to be at home in the Fieldhouse on uh, Tuesday for North, uh, against Northeastern North State. Yeah. Against Northeastern State at 2 p.m. this Tuesday for Trivia Day. $2 admission with toy donation once you show up. As for the men, they tack on a couple wins this week. They had a game on Monday and yesterday, both in the Fieldhouse. They beat Central Baptist 76 to 52 and Dallas Baptist 83 to 61. Back to back 20 plus point victories for yep. the line men. Really getting it together as the season gets along. They lost a couple early, but got a four game win streak going right now. Yeah. Heading into the Christmas break, and they're going to come back later on. They got another game. Tyree Robinson was named Lone Star Conference Defensive Player of the Week this past week. Reggie Reed had a near triple-double in their previous game yesterday. He had 19-8-8 leading in all categories. in Well, top three categories. Yeah, points, all categories. assists, and rebounds. Might have led in steals, too. I yeah. have to double-check the box score for you, but he was everywhere in that contest. Willie really got going, too, last night. Right. The backcourt actually combined 8-for-13 from three-point range. Mm -hmm. mm, dominating. If you, if you can if you can shoot that well, I mean, the Lions are going to be hard to beat. Right, especially shooting that three. And that was a that was a good Dallas Baptist team they beat last night too. Right. And they beat them, you know, by 20 points, so they had an above 50% field goal percentage from three-point range. So when the Lions are shooting that hard, yeah. it's it's a real problem. Oh yeah. Their next game is going to be just before 2019 hits. They got a game December 30th at 4 p.m. versus Texas A&M International. I believe we did have a ceremony last night too during oh, the game. Yeah, during halftime, the Lions softball team was issued their regional championship rings. So congratulations to the Lions softball team. Pleasure being around you guys and watching you guys play and have such dominating season last year. It was a pleasure, photographer. One of one one of the most uh, the most successful team in program yes. history. Still yes. a young program, but uh, we're looking forward to this season even more. Coming off a regional championship, mm -hmm. you can keep up on LineAthletics.com. This schedule should be up shortly. Yes. as uh, it's 
It's almost that time for line softball. Almost softball season. And guys, I will close things out. Track and field is almost here. Today and tomorrow, the Lions are going to be running at the Crimson and Gold Invitational in Pittsburgh, right. Kansas, at Pittsburgh State University in Kansas. That is going to be an indoor meet. We're not, we haven't quite got, we haven't gotten quite to the uh, outdoor meets yet. But uh, the Lions are going to be up there in Kansas. Um, so keep up with them. That'll be the men and the women. You can check out all things on LionAthletics.com and keep up with some recaps that uh, our friend, good old Josh Mank and Marcus Jensen, like to write up for us. So. And as always, you can check out all things at TMUCEastTexan.com and follow us on social media.